Uh, Craig Fui, Colin Harmon here, talking some Arizona Cardinals this week as we do each week. Week two already, yeah. and the Cardinals come off uh, laying an egg, right, on <laughs> Sunday, 44-21. to 21, They lose to the Chiefs in that one. Just an ugly outing for the Cards. Well, to sum it up, as Cliff said today on Monday, the only way to go is up That's because right. it does not get worse than that, I hope. Otherwise, <laughs> let's yeah. just pack it up and go home and fast forward to next year. You know, they kept talking about not being prepared, not being this, not being that. We just came out flat. I don't know if this roster is good enough right now. They've got a lot of injured guys, but I don't know if the roster is good enough right now. Here's the deal with the injuries. It's the offensive side of the ball that's injury ravaged, suspensions, yeah. this, that, and the yes. other. Yeah. There were only two starters missing on defense. That's it. <laughs> so you're telling me J.J. Watt and Antonio Hamilton mean that much to this defense? No way. No how. Fair Not point. buying it. So no, this is an Vance Joseph problem. This is a Steve Kime problem. Yeah. They don't have the personnel and granted, it's the Chiefs. They're going to make everybody look bad and right. you know, bring out the worst in that. But I don't foresee it getting better. This isn't going to turn into a good defense this year. We had a lot of questions about the defense, We've right? We've been talking Kevin, about it for weeks and we, months. We have. We've been talking about the defense. Isaiah Simmons calling the defensive plays. He didn't get one chance in the preseason to do that. So game one of the regular season against the Chiefs, the defending AFC West champions, he was calling plays for the first time. That's a lot to expect of a guy in his third season who's never done it before. Well, not to mention he's covering tight ends, which is what they brought him in to do. But Travis he's also Kelsey. he's also covering Juju Smith-Schuster. Yeah, he shouldn't be on wide receivers. So no. they have guys playing out of position off necessity at this right. point in in week one. I just like again, there were two starters that were out defensively. Yeah, things aren't just going to drastically get better. And so. Byron Murphy playing corner rather than slot corner. He's outside where the best corner they have is out of position because they don't have anybody else there. So as they move forward into week yeah. two, the offense is, I'm not worried about the offense. Yeah, it was ugly. Yeah. And they got the bulk of their points in the fourth quarter and their ability to move the football. That's going to come with <laughs> reps. Imagine that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't do anything in the preseason. Right. Well, that's why week one looked like a preseason game to the Cardinals. And I know people are talking about they got their points in garbage time, but the thing is about our NFL roster, there's only a 53-man roster and 46 guys play. That's too deep at every position. So that's not like you're playing the practice squad guys in the fourth quarter. They still played against the second team guys. You've been around football long enough, Fui. How much... There's a big How much oomph is KC playing with when you're up by 30? No, I know. No, and I get all that. It's just that you, we saw a little bit of rhythm out of the offense in the force. So I'll take that. Something to build on. Speaking of moving forward to the yep. Raiders now. The Raiders lost at L.A. to the Chargers 24-19. to They had some issues, but I'll tell you what. They're a good football team. They're a good football team. They are. And, again, back to the Cardinals' defense. Yeah, the Raiders may not be the Chiefs, but they've got right. the playmakers that they can – Yes. Line up with the best of them. When you yeah. look at Devontae Adams, yep. he's a top five wide receiver easily. Yeah. You look at Darren Waller, he's a top five t tight end. You look at Josh Jacobs, what I saw from the Cardinals run defense early against the Kansas City team, gaping holes up the yep. middle. So Josh Jacobs, the bowling ball that he is, you know, could have a field day. So those problems are still going to exist for the Cardinals that they're going to oh, yeah. have to deal with on Sunday. Derek Carr threw uh, 37 times, 22 of 37, 295 yards, two touchdowns, but three interceptions. Turnovers are huge in the NFL. Josh Jacobs had a 5.7 yards per carry average, and you talked about Devontae Adams, 10 catches, 141 yards, and a touchdown. They're a good football team. Listen, I know this is what we in the media do, fans do. It's overreaction Monday, especially after week one. It is heightened on steroids. Yes, it is. But, again, I – there are so many things with the roster, and we've talked about it. Everybody saw it coming. How yep. Steve Kime in the front office didn't see it coming when we all did? W why is anybody shocked Colin, at what think, just happened? But I think they're coming off that 11-win season saying, we got a good roster here. We're, we don't have to tweak it or change it. We're good. And, and, and the X factor to me this week, Chandler Jones playing for the Raiders. <laughs> How ironic is that? <laughs>